Hi guys, here is J4. We're still working with accumulation functions. And what we've got here is a graph of F, and then we've got this accumulation function H. And uh, H is defined as the integral from zero to X of F of W dW. And in this accumulation function, we've got two variables, X and W. And I just wanted to point out to you here that X is the input and W is what's called a placeholder or dummy variable. So um, the important thing, guys, is that whatever goes in here for X is also going in up here uh, for X. And we have to call this variable here something different because otherwise, if we also called it X, then it would look like the input number goes in all of these four places, but it doesn't. It just goes in up here. So that's why we needed the dummy variable. All right, now we're going to answer these questions. So given the above graph and accumulation function, answer the questions below. And I just wanted to save time, so I just wrote these things in here. So number one, over which interval, intervals, I guess, or interval, is F positive? Guys, this is F. This is the graph of F. So it's going to be positive where it is above the x-axis, okay? So number one, the graph of f is above the x-axis from zero to six, but then also from 13 to infinity, okay? Then, over which intervals is f negative? This is the graph of f. So it's going to be negative wherever the graph is below the x-axis, which is from 6 to 13. Okay, now they're going to ask us questions about h. Over which intervals is h increasing? Guys, an accumulation function, the way it works is that you keep like adding on more and more area or uh, accumulating like different amounts of area. And so intervals over which H is increasing are gonna be the intervals over which H is accumulating positive area. And then we're gonna answer this question, over which intervals is H decreasing? That's gonna be where it is, where H is accumulating negative area. So the answer to number three, where, where, over which intervals is H accumulating more and more positive area? Okay, so we're starting at zero. And we begin accumulating positive area. Okay, so on this interval, H is increasing. And then we're accumulating more, more positive area. So H is still increasing. More positive, more positive, more positive area. So H is still increasing, still increasing because we're still adding on more positive area. But then at six, we start to add on negative area. So it's from zero to six that H is accumulating positive area and therefore increasing. And then at six, we start decreasing. But then guys, look at this. At 13, we start accumulating more positive area. So from 13 to infinity, we're accumulating um, positive area, so H is increasing. Now over which intervals is H decreasing, accumulating negative area, I'll go back to um, this part. So after six, we started accumulating negative area. Adding negatives, you know, means decreasing. So adding more negative area, still decreasing, adding more negative area, still decreasing, more and more negative area. Okay, and then at 13, remember, we start adding on positive area. So the answer here is from 6 to 13.